You can. I can remember going to seminar and Mary Kay many times being on stage and the fog machine and the music and you would dream and say, Mary Kay, one day I'm going to drive a pink Cadillac. It was always exciting. She really knew how to make the most of that moment when she stepped out of the car. A lot of people can own a Cadillac, but it's only a pink Cadillac that'll float on a cloud. That's true. I was sitting in the seminar audience when Mary Kay announced that was going to be uh, an award that we could earn. And the first year, I think she just gave away five. Here we are up on stage just wondering what's going on here. All of a sudden, Mary Kay said, you five have earned the use of a pink Cadillac for a year. Congratulations. We went wild and the audience went wild and Lovey Quinn just started kissing the car. I had never dreamt that I could ever drive a Cadillac, let alone a pink Cadillac, but of course only five winners. The next year they gave 10 and <laughs> Unfortunately, there was the 11th and 12th person. So they came up with this great idea that if they set a level and everyone who reached this level in production would receive a pink Cadillac to the point where now you see them all over America. The relationship between General Motors and Mary Kay is really an American institution. It started with one Cadillac and 23,000 Cadillacs later is really the pinnacle of success at Mary Kay. Every morning around 9.30, a pink Cadillac turns the corner into a parking lot on Corporate Row in Dallas, Texas. It slips into the reserved space along with the other pink Cadillacs. Mm -hmm. choice of the Cadillac. Just the symbol itself is huge. I don't know that she knew that it would be a 50-year symbol of our company, but she was so good at thinking outside the box that it is. I mean, it's the symbol. It's like Coca-Cola or McDonald's, but it's Mary Kay. It's the pink Cadillac. When I think about Mary Kay and her intuition, to have a Cadillac, a pink Cadillac. I'm sure there were so many people that thought she had to be crazy. I went to the Cadillac dealer here in Dallas and I said, I want a new Cadillac and I want it colored pink. The car dealer said, Mary Kay, custom painting a car is really difficult and I'm not sure you're gonna like this color. And I said, no, I want it pink, please. Well, when she got her pink Cadillac and she drove it to the Mary Kay headquarters, all the sales directors went wild. So they started going to the same Cadillac dealer and saying, we want a pink Cadillac like Mary Kay's pink Cadillac. Let's talk about the choice of pink, the iconic pink. People think so highly of the company and of the brand that whenever they see the car, it just brightens their day. The, the pink paint is exclusive to Mary Kay. It goes back to the first vehicle that Mary Kay purchased. It's a symbol that people recognize. When they see the car, they start asking some questions or thinking about it. I get stopped by women that say, wow, I really like that car. Where did you get it? And I tell them, you know, this is Mary Kay. Para mí, el color rosado de Mary Kay significa pureza, eh, una mujer 
eh, que sabe lo que quiere. I think it represents a successful woman. To me, growing up in a Mary Kay environment, it was confidence. I believe that this beautiful pink Cadillac represents a legacy that we continue on with, and it really represents all the lives that we get to touch. This Cadillac is so much more than me or you. It's about so many more people that played a part in me driving this beautiful pink car. When the Cadillac dealership calls and says, we have your pink Cadillac here waiting for you, the first time was like, When you go to pick up a pink Cadillac, they have it covered with a beautiful satin cover. And when you pull that drape off, there is magic. It's awesome behind that pink wheel. ¿Cómo me voy a sentir manejando un Cadillac? Me siento sumamente feliz. You just feel like you can conquer the world with it. I drive this car with such pride, thinking that Mary Kay is sitting next to me. That's why we don't honk our horns or cut anyone off. <laughs> I came home from the hospital in a pink Cadillac, and uh, it's been the car I watched my brother go to prom in. I watched the homecoming queen and the parades ride in this one. It's a constant symbol throughout my life is that pink Cadillac. And it's a dream of mine that when I have kids, I get to bring them home in a pink Cadillac too. When you're in your Cadillac and the music comes on, sometimes it makes you forget what you had to do to get there. But you're constantly reminded that it is an honor, that it is a privilege, and that this is a car that is respected. It makes me pretty emotional. When we first came in here, it took my breath away because I just thought, oh my gosh, it's so much more than a pink Cadillac. To be able to sit here next to Mary Kay Ash's pink Cadillac means the world to me because she has changed my life. I think that the message that it sends is so powerful and impactful. It is a voice of a company that has been built to enrich the lives of women. It says it strong, it says it loud, and it says it kindly that these women are changing lives. And because of that, because of their courage, because they built their confidence, they have a choice of pink that no one else has. I think it was brilliant the way that they told the world that this is special and you will never, ever, ever forget it. All right, everybody, welcome to our Thursday sharing event. Thank you all for being on here tonight. I want to thank all of our amazing guests and guests. If you were invited on here tonight, you know what? Your, Mary, your consultant wants you to be on here to hear more about the Mary Kay opportunity. And I'm just grateful that you're on here tonight to spend some time with us and hear more about Mary Kay. And we have a fabulous speaker tonight. Well, before we get started, a couple of quick things I want to make sure we do. First off, please make sure your name is in that chat section as a guest tonight. And please let us know who invited you. Now, if your name is iPhone or Samsung, please give us a name so that we can call you out later on in case you win anything. We're giving away lots of mascaras at the end of this evening. So please stay on at the end. And if at any time tonight you think, you know what? I think I just want to join Mary Kay. We are giving away four, not three, but actually four free opportunities to join Mary Kay tonight. So if at any time tonight you hear anything and you think, you know what, I think I just want to join, type in the chat section, I'm in for free, and we will put you in the drawing for our four free e-starts. All right, well, let's get started. My name is Janice Trude, and I'm a global national sales director for Mary Kay. I have been with this company almost 40 years. I work not only in America, but I also work globally in the European regions for Mary Kay. Now, the question always asked by everybody, how have you weathered the storm during the pandemic? Because some companies have done well and some have not. We have absolutely flourished. 
I have never seen so many success stories as I have during this time because we have now a new platform. It's called a virtual platform where we can actually, thanks to our amazing company, with all the great samples that we have, we send out skincare, charcoal mask, microdermabrasion. And instead of getting together with four or five of you, we can get together with 45 or 455 of you all across the United States. And so it's made it so great. Plus, our company does drop ship right to your door, which has made it so much easier with all the amazing apps we have. Well, thank you for being on tonight. And like I said, I've been with Mary Kay Cosmetics for almost 40 years and what an amazing company. So I do want to share some things with you tonight before we have our amazing speaker. And I think that you all that we were started by a woman named Mary Kay. Mary Kay Cosmetics was started by Mary Kay Ash in 1963. So we are an almost 60 year old company today. We have weathered many economic storms out there and stand strong as a company with over 1500 patents on our products currently today. This is our beautiful global world headquarters in Dallas, Texas. We also have an $11 million manufacturing and distribution center in Louisville, where all of our products are made. Now, 90% of our products that are made in the United States are shipped to other countries. We do have a couple of countries that have their own subsidiaries, but all of our products are made in the United States um, and are made in Dallas, Texas. Uh, we did lose our dear Mary Kay in 2001, but we are still a family owned and operated business today with Mary Kay's son and Mary Kay's grandson and 150 of us national sales directors like Jamie and I who are on here tonight to share with you, um, help the company with a lot of the decisions that we make going forward. So I did want to share that. I know that you all know we were named by Mary Kay, but just in case some of you didn't know, I wanted to share that information with you. Now, we have an opportunity to join Mary Kay during this pandemic in a whole different way. So I do want to share that with you tonight because I know that you do want some information about all of this. So back in the day when I started, and in fact, Every Mary Kay Beauty consultant prior to the pandemic started this way. We started with a starter bag that came with trays and mirrors, all your training, books, all your samples, everything, full-size products of skincare, about two sets, um, oil for eye makeup remover, CC creams, $500 with a product for only $100. Such a great deal, even today, great way to start. But when the pandemic started, we decided, the company decided to start an opportunity to join Mary Kay Cosmetics for only $30. And I'm literally in my 40 years, I cannot believe they did that, but it's only $30 to join Mary Kay uh, currently still. And with this, you get an entire beautiful website that is yours for an entire year, plus all your credit card processing. So you can start with a 30. You can add the starter kit to it, which is 130. That is what I would suggest because as we are all opening up in this world as a country, uh, it's really good for you to be able to have the starter bag and the e-starve. And all your credit card processing comes with that, or you can also add the starter, uh, the sample pack onto that. These are conversations that you would have with your sales director and how you want to get started and exactly what you want to do. Now, I do want to share with you, though, your amazing website and what it would look like. Um, it was on here earlier. I'll see if I can't find it really quickly here. Hold on. Sometimes it's not so easy to go find all these things. Uh, there it is there. So let me go back off and come back on. All right, let me just show you your website because I think it's great that you can see what you get for your uh, $30 also too. So this is the beautiful website. It is designed and updated daily for you by Mary Kay where people can shop online. They can check out online. They can see tutorials about things. You have apps on your phone and they're all free where people can shop online. You can also text out an e-catalog. All these things are super great for you to have. But I love how professional Mary Kay makes you look. So I wanted to share that website with you. Now, I know a lot of you are really involved in the environment and what goes on and also um, giving back to other communities. So I wanted to share what's really important to a lot of us today is our amazing world out there. So Mary Kay has a program called Pink Doing Green because it's our mission to preserve and beautify our communities globally. So we have planted more than 1 million trees around the world. We recycle all of our bottles and jars. In fact, all of our compacts are made out of recyclable plastic. So we are environmental friendly. Packaging peanuts are all biogradable, zero landfill status. We have 100% renewable energy. So I just want to let you know that we are really concerned about our our world and what goes on out there. So I'm, I love the fact that Mary Kay keeps up with the environment and keeps trendy with all those things up to date. We're also a company that gives back. If you'll notice down here, we've given over $50 million in grants 
to keep domestic violence shelters open. And actually, this one needs to be updated here. We've now given over $30 million in grants to cancers, uh, cancer research grants, uh, cancers affecting women today. So we have done that also. We still do that all the time. And then in our European regions, we've given over $80 million to help change the lives of women and children around the world with our orphanage program. So I know that these things are really important to many of you uh, because we're really concerned about the environment, also a company that does give back. Oftentimes we have products where you purchase the product during a time, and a lot of times it's always around Mary Kay's birthday, a dollar goes to the foundation also too. So I did want to share that with you. Okay. Just a couple other things before we have our guest speaker today. Um, I know that you all know about the amazing Pink Cadillacs in case. And also, too, would you all do me a favor in the chat section? Every consultant and director who's earned a Mary Kay car, would you just put down how many cars you have earned since you've been in Mary Kay? Because sometimes people are like, yeah, well, did those really happen? I know you've all seen the Pink Cadillacs, but you may not know that we have other cars. We have director cars, and then we also have consultant and director cars. So this car up above here, which is the Grand Achiever, this car you can earn as a part-time Mary Kay Beauty Consultant. I can tell you so many people have earned cars in the last two years. Mary Kay does pay your tax license and insurance, and you pay about a $45 underwriting fee um, each month to drive the car. You get new ones every two years. You guys can add my 19 Pink Cadillacs to that long list in the chat section there. Look at all the cars that people have earned. Um, keep putting them all in there, how many cars that you've earned. It's always good to see how many they have earned. So I just wanted to share that with you. We also have some great insurance programs for you and lots of other things. Well, uh, Jamie Taylor, um, we, we pre-recorded her because she had something that she had to do. And I want to bring her on here. Um, you're going to love her story. She is amazing. Um, I'm going to introduce her to you. And then we're going to go right into hearing a little bit more from her. So let me go ahead and bring this up here. I know it's here somewhere. Um, and I'm finding it for you so that we can get this and you can watch this for today. Okay, hang tight, everybody. We're getting there. Um, and I love Jamie Taylor. She's absolutely amazing. You're gonna love all the different things that she has to share. Um, she has a great story and a great heart and like I said, we did videotape her earlier today so that she could be on here with you. So I'm going to go ahead and pull this up right now. Here we go. Sorry for that. I should have had this prepared right now for you. All right. Hang tight. Well, you guys, we have an amazing speaker for you all tonight. I can't wait for you to hear and to see our amazing Taylor Uh, and maybe all of you, because, you know, we're all in a different place in a different space in our world. And so Jamie started American Business as a 20 year old college student in 2012. You can run the math on that one. She became a director in 2013 and she was graduating and has been building her business full time ever since. She is a wife to Zach, her college sweetheart, and she is earned the use of seven cars. Oh, she's also a mom to a three year old son, Cash. And um, in her nine years, she has earned seven cars. So, um, and I know we put in the chat section, you know, earlier, how many cars has everybody won? There's a lot of cars out there. So um, five of them being the pink Cadillac, she's currently waiting for her first NSD Escalade to be delivered. She has made seven appearances in circles. She's also the monthly go give. Um, and I know that she's, she is going to earn millions in Mary Kay and her highest check has never even been written yet. To, for her in her first month. So I'm going to turn it over. Jamie Taylor, you go, girl. Um, I'm going to mute out so that you are going on on the on the speaker view. OK, so give it up for Jamie Taylor. Thank you so much for that warm welcome, Janice. And I will receive that. So hi, you guys. Hello, hello. Thank you so much for all the love in the chat. I am so excited to be here with you guys. I'm so excited that it is June. For all of our guests out there, maybe you've picked up on it, maybe you haven't. June is a big deal in our Mary Kay world. Of course, I didn't know that when I joined, but I started my business. Actually, Janice, I just had my 10-year anniversary this week, this week, and I joined in June, 10 years. Years ago, I was 20 years old, and oh my goodness! I just a sidebar. What a what an exciting time to start and be a part of this company in June. I didn't know it at the time, but now, oh my goodness, I get so nostalgic this time of year um, because joining my Mary Kay business 10 years ago, I like to say it was kind of like falling in love. It was probably one of the 
funnest summers of my life being a new beauty consultant. And so I want to take you back there. 10 years ago, um, I was 20 years old. And, you know, it's really funny, a full circle moment, something that was really similar back then, 10 years ago, that is today, is that gas prices were really, really, really high in 2012. And I remember that because I was 20. I was driving a 2001 Dodge Durango. It was at a key marks up both sides. And it costed me about $100 to fill up. Um, my, my car got like 12 miles to the gallon on a good day. And it was just, it was a lot of money for me to fill up at that age in college. I was, I did have a little minimum wage job um, and I cleaned houses for extra money. Um, not because I loved it, not because I'm passionate about cleaning, but I just, I needed the money. And sometimes it, in that that particular year, it felt a little bit like I was working to pay for gas. <laughs> Can anybody out there relate to that? And um, it's really a funny story. It really is. I'm going to tell you. So a, a little fun fact about me is I'm not the most frugal person I've ever met in my life. I'm really not. It's one of my worst qualities. I seem to pay full price for everything. And all my friends and family love to make fun of me for it. So this one day I was in my Dodge Durango and I passed this country gas station. It was one of those gas stations that you weren't even sure if it's open, you know, like, like you couldn't pay at the pump. It was, so, I mean, it was like old. The little sign said biscuits and beer kegs and biscuits was spelled wrong. And it was like that for like 10 years. So it almost looked closed down. And I passed it and I thought, dang, their gas prices are good because that was on my radar back then. Gas was killing me. But me being the not a very frugal person went up to the nice, shiny, new pay at the pump gas station. Right. And I get up there and this is so unlike me. I just think it, it's just all about being in the right place at the right time. The gas was so much more expensive a half mile down the road at the nice gas station. And for like once in my life, I did the economical choice. And I was like, I got to go back to the dumpy one. I got to. So I go back to the dumpy gas station, which is not me. I get out of my car. I go inside to pay, at the, pump, uh, to pay the cashier. And when I come out, there is pink Cadillac. I had never seen one before, but I knew what they meant. And there was this woman driving the pink Cadillac and she was not what I was expecting, honestly. So keep in mind, I was 20 years old. I, I kind of imagined back then, um, I connotated Mary Kay with just women who were my mom or my grandma's generation. It wasn't a bad thing. It's just like the lady who was our beauty consultant growing up. She was a lady from church. She was older than my mom. Like that's just what I connotated it with. And I remember stealing some of my mom's Mary Kay mascara. It was always my favorite, but I just never considered it as a brand for me. Um, up to this point in my life. And I see this woman get out of my out of her Cadillac and she was about the age I am now. She was probably 29 or 30. She had little toddlers in the back and she was wearing running clothes. And I just wasn't expecting that. And I thought that was so cool. So we ended up making some small talk and her pink Cadillac comes up. And so she comes over to me and she's like, I know this is weird, but I would love to treat you to a makeover. Have you ever tried Mary Kay before? And I said, yeah, I mean like my mom and my grandma. I, they used it. I used their stuff. And she's like, girl, I'm not talking about your grandma. <laughs> have you, like, have you tried it recently? And um, I said, no, I guess not. I've never really tried it for myself. So she offered me a makeover right there in the gas station parking lot. And um, I said, yes. And she was professional. So she followed back up with me. She booked me the next week and I went out after cleaning a house. And um, oh my gosh, we had so much fun. Now at this point up in my life, I, I was not super passionate about makeup or the beauty industry. But when I started college, I started getting really problem skin and it was really taking a toll on my confidence. So I just remember waking up every morning and looking in the mirror and like taking a big sigh and just being like, okay, we're going to cover it up all the acne. I just, I was trying all kinds of different skincare lines from the high end stuff to the drugstore stuff. I was Googling things, you know, what can I do to get my skin under control? And it was taking a toll on my confidence. And so I was excited to try some skincare. And that day I discovered our miracle set. You guys ever tried it? We have any miracle set users? Tell me in the chat. And I just knew, even though it was only one use, I was like, I love this. Like, I just, I believe in this. And so that day with money, I really didn't have, I was like, Sign me up for a miracle set. I want a miracle set. So I bought a miracle set. And um, before I left, she was like, Jamie, before you go, I got to tell you a little bit more about how we make our money. And I really, I really didn't want to have that conversation with her. I didn't want to get talked into it. I just, I, I didn't imagine myself. This was not what I had in mind. I was getting a college degree and I just, up to this point, it had not crossed my mind to be a Mary Kay Beauty Consultant. And so I wasn't necessarily open to it, but I listened to be polite. You know, maybe somebody invited you here tonight and you're doing her a favor. You're helping her hit a goal. Um, thank you. Thank you for being here. Um, thank you for listening to be polite, if that's you. But when she started talking to me, 
I realized I had made a lot of assumptions about Mary Kay and the opportunity that weren't necessarily true. And I learned a lot that day. And so I started to open up and I asked her a lot of questions. And long story short, uh, much to her surprise and my surprise, that 20 year old girl started, became a Mary Kay Beauty Consultant that day. I did not wake up that morning thinking I was going to go to bed as a Mary Kay Beauty Consultant. But I just got excited. One, you know, logically on the outside, I told myself, you know what? My mom and my grandma, they would totally buy for me. It's a 50% profit. You guys, it's 50% profit. And I thought, I'm currently making zero dollars and zero cents on my grandmother's cosmetic purchases. And my mom, they will buy foundation and hand cream and face wash. I know that they will. So, you know, something is better than nothing and, and they would be excited to support me. And I told myself, even if I only make a hundred bucks here or there, it's a tank of gas. And that's exactly what I told myself. And maybe somebody out there can relate to that right now. Right. Um, but honestly, under that, that's what I justified it with. I was like, this is why I'll, this is why I'll do it. I probably won't be any good at it. But this that those were the reasons I justified becoming a beauty consultant that day. But beneath the surface, there is something else. I just there's something in me that just wanted to know what if I loved it? What, what if this was incredible? What if this is as good as my beauty consultant says that it is? And, um, I, you know, with myself that day, th this was very outside of my comfort zone. Um, fun fact about me, another fun fact, I was a pretty good student, graduated cum laude, but my, my one class that I got a, a pretty bad grade in is the class I met my husband in. It was my public speaking class really like really 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 the thought of doing a mary Kay party i was just like that is so wildly outside of my comfort zone i don't even know why i would sign up for putting myself through that but again beneath the surface i thought to myself but but what if it was really good for me what if it grew my confidence what if i could outgrow some of these fears what if i didn't let these fears hold me back how good at this could i be um, and I just, there was something in me, even at 20 years old that had the wisdom to know, and I'm so thankful, had the wisdom to know that something like this would actually just be really good for me to grow as a young woman, as a, as a budding professional, I was going to get out of college soon. And I knew this is going to grow me. This is going to teach me new skills. And it does sound kind of fun. And so it was outside of my comfort zone. That's what was holding me back. And so I played the best case, worst case scenario game with myself. What's the best thing that could happen? You know, to me, I was like, my family will love supporting me. I like these products. I'm going to get a really good discount. I don't know if you've heard, but Mary Kay Beauty Consultants get to enjoy a 50% discount on their products. Well, I spent $120 with my beauty consultant that day. So I thought to myself, wow, instead of reordering it from her, I could get it for only 60. That's wow. Like that's, that's a lot of money saved, right? Um, so uh, I lost my train of thought, but um, so what was I saying? What was I saying? I, those were the reasons that I was, you know, going to do it that day. The, oh, the, the best case scenario game. Yes. I'll get a discount. I'll make a little bit of profit. And this could be fun. Like what if I enjoy, what if I get a couple like fun little prizes right now? I'm cleaning houses, literally cleaning people's bathrooms on my hands and knees and I'll do it for the paycheck. I will do it. But what if I worked what if I applied that to working in something like this? And not only could I make a little money to put gas in the car, I could earn a cute pair of earrings. I could earn a Starbucks gift card. I could earn little prizes. You know what I mean? I was like, that sounds fun. This was my best case scenario. I could not even imagine what was coming. And I'll tell you about that. What was my worst case scenario? For me, it was, Jamie, the worst thing that can happen is maybe your ego will get a little bit bruised because it's not for you. And maybe you'll feel a little bit embarrassed. And that was the worst thing I could think that would happen. Um, and, I, you know, I thought to myself, 10 years down the road, I would hate the thought of being in a different place in my life and, and wondering, what if I had just tried Mary Gay and I had liked it? Like, what if, what if I had tried it all those years ago versus I could get 10 years down the road and say, I tried Mary Kay in college. It wasn't really for me. I was like, wow, I would love to have that information and to not have to wonder. I would love to know. <laughs> I would love to just give myself the chance to find out. And so 10 years down the road, I can say, I'm really glad that I stepped outside of my comfort zone and found out. So what happened since then? Well, I was going into my last year of college. Um, a wildest dream came true for me about by the time I was graduating college, as Janice told you, I earned my 
my Mary Kay car, the use of a Mary Kay car, that was huge for me. I sold that old Dodge Durango for cash money because I didn't have to go get a new one. I used that money to pay for my wedding, or well, pay for part of my wedding. The Durango wasn't worth much, but we got something for it. Um, you know, I've I've never in my whole life ever done paperwork at a at a uh, like I've never taken out a car loan. I don't know how to get car insurance. I've never done any of that because I've always driven a Mary Kay car, um, which has just been incredible. Um, when I got out of college, I made another very surprising decision. Um, I decided to pursue my Mary Kay business full time. Um, I just I, I finished an internship to get my degree and I was like, I don't know if this is what I want to do forever. I had a degree in marketing and I was like, what if I worked for myself full time the way I just did in college. I earned a car. So I started to embrace Mary Kay full time. And oh my goodness, that was at, um, I guess I was 21 years old at the time and I never had a real job since, but it has been incredible. So today I'm 30 and I just want to tell you down the road what, what came out of it. First of all, yeah, you could say I grew as a person. I grew so much. I have learned people skills, problem solving skills, communication skills, sales skills, negotiation skills, emotional management, money management, time management. Um, I have been able to control the income that I make, you know, something that's been really cool in the last couple of years um, without budgeting or envelope systems or anything like that, I was able to pay off $50,000, which was all of me and my husband's debt, not from budgeting and saving and pinching pennies, but from increasing my income through the Mary Kay opportunity. Um, literally one day, we were sitting on our back patio. I said, hey, how much do you have on your truck note? Of course, I don't have a car payment. Um, you know, and he told me, I said, what do we have left in student loans for you and me? And between those three things, I said, let's just pay it off right now. And we brought our laptop out on our back patio and we paid off $50,000 in debt in one sitting, in one sitting. And I say we, but really it was me, it was me. And it wasn't like I said, from budgeting or saving money or you know cutting coupons, not there's anything wrong with that. I just want you to hear, we only did it through one way and it was just increasing our income. And we did that through the Mary Kay Opportunity. And, and you know, that is one of the many, many things it's done for me. Um, for me nowadays, I, I love this work. I love this community. I love who I've become and I love helping other women do that. I did love how my skin changed. And so in the beginning when I was a beauty consultant, that gave me the courage to get outside of my comfort zone because my confidence was growing and I knew I had something to offer people to help grow their confidence, change their skin. Still to this day, I'm not the most glam makeup girl, but I'm passionate about helping others feel confident in their own skin. And so I was able to find my own way. Then the pandemic hit. And so, you know, we, we, we didn't do as many things in person like I had done in college, but now I do things online and I have a thriving customer group that I get to service all over the country through, you know, some of the awesome online tools that Mary Kay provides us. Um, and now to this day, those are the things that excite me. They get me out of bed in the morning, but I really do love the lifestyle. I have to tell you that. 10 years down the road. Um, right now, my husband is a stay-at-home dad. He helps with our son, and I'm currently pregnant with our first daughter. And I love the lifestyle, you guys. I love the lifestyle. And I'm just so glad that 10 years ago, I just decided to find out and see. This wasn't the plan when I when I decided to become a beauty consultant. It was just to find out and see. And, and to become a beauty consultant, you guys, it's either a 30 or a $130 decision. There's two different starter kit options you can get, 30 bucks or 130 just to find out, just to find out. I'm so thankful I gave myself that gift because yeah, at first it was able to pay for gas prices, but over time it, it kept meeting more and more and more needs. I've had so much fun along the way and truly life-changing. So I'm just so glad I stopped at that gas station. I'm so glad she offered me a makeover. I'm so glad that she offered me the opportunity. And I'm so glad that you're here tonight Thank you for listening to my story. And we just want you to know it's $30 or $130 just to find out and see what, what would you like for your life five or 10 years from now? And is there any way that some extra income or perhaps some flexibility could meet that need for you? So thank you guys for listening to my story. Janice, I can pass it back to you, but we would love to have you join us. Oh.
Oh my gosh. Was that awesome? I love Jamie Taylor. Wasn't that a great story? Um, I love having her and just hearing about her. I remember when I joined when I was that young. So I know that you're on here tonight as a guest and don't forget to type in the chat section. I'm in for free because pretty soon we're going to give away these four free e-stocks. Now, just a couple of things I want to go over that Jamie talked about a little bit, just extra facts for you as a guest on here tonight. We do have a level playing field. Everybody does make 50% which I am grateful for, not a math major, but love the 50%. So we all make 50% profit on our sales, which is great. Also, we have no territories and we have no quotas. Your territory is the United States of America. And as a sales director, you can also build in other countries. I'm currently in Europe. So you can build other countries. We're in currently almost 40 countries today. So that's an option also. Now, we also have no territories and no quotas. When people say, what do you mean you don't have a quota? There is not a certain amount of product you have to sell each week or each month. People constantly ask me that question. How much do you have to sell every month? And I say, you don't. What do you mean you don't? As long as you place one order a year of $225, you're in Mary Kay. Now, you're not making any money, but you get the great discounts. And that's why people do Sam's Club and Costco. It's the same thing. And you guys, it's a $30 decision. For some of you, that's three times through Starbucks. So it's not a big deal. But for some, you might want the big discount too. So we don't have any quotas. There's not a certain amount you have to sell each week or each month. Now, one of the great things that I latched onto very early on, because I had never worn makeup, it was not something that I'd ever done before, but they said, if in your first year you decide to leave Mary Kay, any unopened product you have, they buy back at 90%. And I thought, really? Okay. You guys, who, who starts a company? I mean, if you don't like McDonald's tomorrow and you have a franchise and you decide you don't like Big Macs anymore, they don't buy it back. It's kind of your franchise. So I just want to say, take a chance on yourself. You never know to try. And with the buyback policy, you have nothing to lose. Well, I'm going to leave you with one more thing so you have time to still put it on in for free in that chat section there. Um, just really quickly, if if Jamie and I were to give you 20000 and I want everybody to put something in this chat section who is a guest here tonight. If Jamie and I were to give you $20,000 right now, we handed it to you. If you had an extra $20,000 right now, guess what would you do with it? Please put that in the chat section. What would you do if you had an extra 20000 Because we believe these are the dreams and the goals that you'd love to have, but we just don't know how we'd get them. How does that happen? And where is that? You know, you never know. Um, and so I always see in the chat section, pay off bills, pay off bills, student loans, buy a house, get a car, go on vacation, give to others, start an orphanage. I mean, there's just so many great things. And, you know, it may or may not be for you, but you're never going to know until you try. Um, the last thing I want to share with you is training, because I always get that as you guys are putting all this stuff in the chat section. Um, but here's how the training works. You might come in and you might say, Janice, you know, I love the product. I use so much of it. I use clinical solutions. I use repair. I love all the products. And I just want to get a discount at 50%. And I'm going to place a couple orders here. I'm like, great. Let me just have you come under one training. Let me acclimate you a little bit to where everything is. And then when you need something, let us know. And maybe another one of you, maybe Diane says, you know, Janice, I need to make four or $5,000 a month. I need to move quickly. Those two trainings are different trainings. So it's really important that when you come in, communication is huge. You let us know what you want and we'll help you get where you need to be. You might say, I need a car like yesterday. What's the car program? How does that work? So your training is based pretty much around a lot of what you're sharing with us. And that might change. You might come in to make, you know, just get your product half price and then you get some medical bills because of some situation and you need to make a lot of money. And that's the joy of Mary Kay because it weaves into your life. So I just want to encourage you as a guest tonight, take a chance on yourself. You never know till you try. I see a lot of them and I'm in for free. So in just a second, we're going to do this. I'm going to unmute you guys. And so will you do me a favor? If we call your name, whatever you went tonight, either the mascara or the e-star, we just come off and tell us where you're coming in from. And one thing you heard tonight that you were impressed by. Okay. We want you to be able to do that. And um, I'm going to turn this over uh, to Sherry and she's going to run our chat section. So I just want to thank you for being on here tonight. And let's give away some stuff and let's welcome our brand new Mary Kay Beauty Consultants. Thank you all for being on here tonight. Don't, we have a lot of virtual events going on all the time. Jump on any of our virtual events just so that you see sometimes they're Kate Spade events or skincare events or product preview events. But I, I just want to say thank you to all of our guests for taking your time. All right, we're going to put this on gallery view and then we're going to give away some mascaras first. So let's get on gallery view here and let's give away some mascaras. So here we go. <laughs> 